we're attempting to go get some water. We're out of water. Uh, we've had a grid down situation now for uh, a few weeks. And so we have our collection bucket, um, our screen. You'll see when we get down there, we have about a several block walk to get to the um, lake. And the items that I put in the beginning of the video are what I'm carrying. Okay, so we'll pick up uh, down on the street when we get close to the lake. One of the things um, that troubles me in this community is that there's about 20,000 people that live here. <clears throat> so my fear is that a lot of people are going to be out roaming about at all hours of the night. So I'm going to have to be very careful um, in securing my water, getting there, and then getting back safely. So that's one of my concerns. want to do is keep watch on this area here and behind me make sure nobody comes up filter Shot of Water is collected. Now we're going to seal it off. The gamma seal lid. I'm going to take it back home. Machete. Fishing pole.
Okay, that was in real time, so that was about, I'm not sure exactly, I have to go back when I look at the video. You're talking probably four to five minutes to collect the water. Now, follow the same path we were when we came in. We got a full five gallons that we just collected. Important thing, we pre-filtered a lot of the big stuff out with the screen and the rag. So now when we get back to base, back to our uh, location, we're gonna finish processing the water. All right guys, we got the water back to base. We did the whole operation in probably about 25 minutes. I didn't time it exactly, but we know what time we went out, and it's around 7.15 p.m. now, just about sunset. And so what we're going to do is we collected five gallons of water uh, in our little cart here, and this is our gravity, homemade gravity filter. This is the filter portion in here, ceramic filter, and then it goes down into clean water side will filter down through here drip down through and then filter into here in order to process this water if we wanted we could take our rocket stove right here Set this up, wood, and boil, boil our water and filter it, and get it processed that way. That way, a good rolling boil for about a minute, and then filtering. Okay, so processing water during a grid down situation, if you do not store enough and you have to go out, and fetch your own it's not going to be easy guys it's summertime here you know which you're talking the mid 80s it took us about a half hour to get the water it's going to take another hour probably or more to process it let it cool uh, and then store it in a container uh, and then what go back and do the whole process over again until we had enough back in our storage uh, to help us with uh, drinking uh, or hydrating uh, washing, disinfecting, washing ourselves. Water is a key prepping item and the most important thing. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate, number one, that it's physical work to go get it. In a true grid down situation, we would have probably been dealing with um, hostels uh, as our community has about 20,000 uh, people that live here. Um, and we probably would have been doing it in utter darkness uh, just for the sake of safety um, rather than while it was still light out. Um, and I took my fishing rod for a reason. This time I wanted people to see me walking to and from the lake with the fishing rod. So if they see me doing it over and over again, they get an idea of, oh, he's just going fishing. But I'm processing and collecting water. Okay, thanks. Guys, we're gonna check out our water. We didn't lose any on the way here. The gamma seal lid worked fine. Um, this little $3 grease splatter screen worked great. This is the 13 inch one. It fits right over the five gallon bucket with the gamma seal uh, rim on it, as you can see here. Um, and then our, and then we used a regular uh, shop rag, shop towel over the top of that to filter out the big junk out of the water and it did a pretty good job because this water looks pretty clear okay so that's a lot less debris that'll get clogged in our gravity filter when we do gravity feed this and then boil it and then we could go one step further if we wanted to and chemically treat it with some bleach let it sit go bucket to bucket with it and then store it 
in a larger container or smaller five gallon or other five gallon containers just for clean water. One of the things you want to do is this collection bucket here, this one here, I will mark uh, with spray paint or something that that is just for water collection and not to store food in. So I know for the future not to grab the wrong bucket. Okay? Thanks for joining me, guys. Questions, comments, video responses, feel free.